Ever wonder how you could get a nice cactus like this for free? Follow along so I can show you how to turn this into this. One of my number one tips for finding free plants is make a habit of taking a walk in your neighborhood and your community and keeping an eye out for plants that may have been cut during landscaping or have fallen off on the ground. Making sure that we're not um, taking things from people's gardens, of course, but just um, knowing where there's public spaces, public gardens, roadside medians, where landscaping takes place and plants can be um, trimmed up and cut and a lot of these plants can be propagated. So this is a cactus pad I found on a walk. It had clearly been cut during some landscaping cutting and I totally forgot about it. Um, I planned to propagate it and it's been sitting over on the side of my garden for several months. But cacti, being cacti, they keep their moisture in and they can survive long periods of um, no rooting. So I figured now would be a great time to tell you about propagating Opuntia cactus. So this seems to be a spineless variety, which I'm kind of excited about. I have lots of different varieties with spines and those spines, let me tell you, they can be torturous. Um, the spines come out of what are called aerials. And those aerials are also what end up rooting. So this started to like create little roots. You can see them coming out here. They had more roots and I had just waited too long to propagate, but I think they are still pretty viable. You can see it was sitting on the ground like this for a while and it started to try to root and it's kind of hardening a bit here. But this is a good time for me to now place this I don't have to do anything. It's nice and calloused over. If you have a opuntia that you just cut, leave it to callus really well because these guys can suffer from rot if you plant them with um, open cuts. So, I mean, a lot of people say leave it for like a good month. This has been several months. Um, so it is in good shape to be propagated. So I simply have this recycled nursery pot. It is not big. I might have to, you know, I'm not giving myself a lot of room to grow, but this won't grow too much. Um, it will start to root and hopefully then it will start to grow new little paddles out. Um, so what you do wanna make sure is that when you plant it, you have some of these aerials covered with soil because that is where the roots will come out. So I'm gonna fill this little pot up with some decent cactus mix. Cactus mix soil is a little bit different to normal potting soil. It does have a lot more um, sand, grit. It's very loose and very well draining and not as much organic material that this kind of um, potting mix has. As you can see, it's really dry, really loose. It has a lot of sand, and these are like perlite kind of stones. And this allows for a lot of air and drainage. Cacti and succulents, they are desert plants, and they don't like sitting in moisture. So that is why when you're dealing with cactus and succulents, cactus mixed soil is usually a great choice. If you don't have a cactus mixed soil, don't fret it. Um, a lot of times people take regular potting soil and they add sometimes play sand, or you can add um, perlite, um, or just make sure that you don't overpack or overwater your cactus and succulent, uh, and that should be fine. This is gonna be as easy as just adding our cactus mix. Placing this paddle in and notice I'm putting it in fairly deep. I want to make sure that those aerials are very covered. So especially these ones at the back. I'm even gonna try and place this a 
little bit downwards because those guys have already started to try and grow. So I don't know if you see how I have this. And I'm just going to gently fill in around. So here is the final product. Uh, it's not very pretty, but eventually it will start to fill in, grow roots, and get new little pads. As you can see, I've um, buried it as deeply as I can in this tiny pot. Um, I probably should have a bigger pot for it, but it's just temporary until it starts to grow roots. Um, and it really is that easy to propagate Opuntia cactus. It is pretty slow to um, get going, so give yourself some time, give yourself a couple of months before you can expect to see some growth, but they will grow if you see a fallen pad or if you have a friend who's trimming theirs back, they do get um, kind of overgrown. So that's a great way to get some free plants for yourself. Now they do, they are cactus. They do want dry conditions, warm conditions, very bright conditions. Um, if you have this as an indoor plant, make sure it's got either a grow light or it's near a window and do make sure it's very, very dry between waterings because they can rot. So there you have another free plant tip, um, propagating Opuntia. Thanks again for joining us. Be sure to subscribe, give me a comment about what kind of videos you wanna see next or what kind of plants you're propagating at home. Um, love to connect with you. And uh, thanks again for watching. Free plants forever.